installing the Field Foreman PC software. Place the Field Foreman PC software CD in your computer CD drive. The installation process will begin automatically if your auto run is not turned off on your PC. Press next, click on agree, then press next. Installation folder is automatically set correctly. Press next, then press next again. So the former PC will start to install. You will be prompted to enter in a company name and key code. The key code and company name can be found on the certificate that was included with your field foreman kit. Be sure to type in the company name exactly as it appears on the certificate because it is case sensitive. Type in the key code and press next. Your installation is now complete. Press close. Field foreman PC automatically creates a shortcut on your desktop. Double click on this icon. You are now ready to set up your farm information. Click on the grain cart application icon. The first category to enter for your operation is grains. Click on the grain name box. Type the name of a grain. Enter the grain weight or use the select from table button to enter a weight. This default grain test weight will be used to calculate bushels. Then enter the grain moisture percentage or use the select from table button to enter the moisture content. You can also edit the moisture and test weight by pressing the arrows to the right of the entry area. When the items entered are correct, click the Add button. The name will appear in the grain list on the right at the bottom. Repeat this process until all the new grain types are entered. The grain types can be sorted into alphabetical order by left clicking on the grain heading. The weight and moisture can also be sorted in numerical order by the same process. If need be, a grain can be removed from the list by selecting it in the right hand box and clicking on the Remove button. You will be asked if you are sure. If you want to proceed, select yes. The next category to enter is hybrids. Click on hybrids in the left hand column. Click in the hybrid name box. Type the name of a hybrid. Click the arrow under grain type and the list of grains you entered previously appears in a drop down list. Click on the correct grain type for this hybrid. Click the add button. The hybrid name and associated grain will appear in the box on the right side. The hybrid and grain types can be sorted into alphabetical order by left clicking on the respective heading. It is suggested to enter a default grain type name, for example yellow corn, for hybrid name. This is especially useful for custom harvesters who only want to track grain by type and not by hybrid. If need be, a hybrid can be removed from the list by selecting it in the right hand box and clicking on the remove button. You'll be asked if you are sure. If you want to proceed, select yes. The next category to enter is Fields. Click on Fields in the left hand column. Click in the Field Name box. Type the name of a field. This can be a simple name such as Field 1. You can use any naming method that is most convenient for your operation. Click on the description box and type a description for the field. This can be a legal description of the location or any other description which makes it clear to you which field it is. Select the hybrid planted in this field from the hybrid drop down list. The grain section will automatically fill out based on the grain assigned to that hybrid. Type in the number of acres planted in the acres window. If you have multiple grains and hybrids planted in this field, you repeat this process and when you press the add button, a dialog box appears asking if you are sure you want to add another plot to this field. Say yes and the information is stored under the same field name as a separate plot. Click the Add button. Information will appear in the box on the bottom of the screen. Repeat this process until all the fields and associated information is entered. Categories can be sorted in numeric or alphabetical order. To remove a field, simply highlight it and click on Remove. This will remove all entries for that field. To edit a field, simply click on the field to edit and change the information. The next category to add is Trucks. Click on Trucks in the left hand column. Click on the truck name box and type in the name of a truck. This can be as simple as a truck number or a name. Use any naming method that makes sense to your operation. Click in the description box and type a description for this truck. Type in the estimated tear weight of the truck. Type in the maximum gross weight of the truck. This will be a weight that triggers the output for SmartGate. If you know your grain cart auger holds about 1,000 pounds and you want the truck to run at 80,000, you will then need to set the target gross at 79,000 pounds. 
That way, at 79,000 pounds, the output is triggered for smart gate to close the gate on your grain cart and your truck will be loaded at around 80,000 pounds. Click the add button. The information will appear in the box at the bottom of the screen. Repeat this process until all the trucks and associated information for your operation is entered. To edit a field, simply click in the field to edit and change any of the information for the trucks. To remove a field, simply highlight it and click on remove. This will remove all entries for that field. The categories can be sorted into alphabetical or numerical order by left clicking on the respective heading. The next category is location. This will be where the grain is delivered. You can track by individual bins on your farm site, by a farm store site as a whole, or different delivery locations like the farmer's cooperative. Click on the location in the left hand column. Click in the location name box and type in the name of the location. For companies with multiple locations, it is recommended to distinguish between these locations in the location name field. For example, Farmers Co-op Bradshaw and Farmers Co-op Hampton. Click in the description box and type a description for this location. Click the add button. The information will appear in the box on the bottom right of the screen. Repeat this process until all delivery locations are added. To edit a field, simply click in the field to edit and change the information. To remove a field, simply highlight it and click on remove. This will remove all entries for that field. The categories can be sorted into alphabetical or numerical order by left clicking on the respective heading. The last category is IDs. The ID field was designed for you to customize to your operations needs. You can document different tillage or agronomy practices this way. A second example is you can track each combine on your operation individually so you can compare how they are performing on a daily basis. To remove an ID, simply highlight it and click on remove. You are now ready to transfer your operations information from the PC to the 3060 touchscreen with Field Foreman. Transferring data between Field Foreman PC and the 3060 touchscreen with Field Foreman is easily done with a USB stick. Click on the data sync icon. You have the choice between import transactions or export field setup data. To transfer setup data to the 3060 touchscreen, insert the USB stick into an available USB port on your computer. Click on the red arrow. A prompt screen will appear. Select the drive with the USB stick and click OK. Once a location is selected, this will be the default drive until a different drive is selected. Once the data is exported, you will be notified by a pop-up message. Press OK on the message. You are now ready to import data into your 3060 touchscreen with Field Foreman. If you have further questions, refer to the Field Foreman PC user manual on your CD or call our customer service team.